What's going on guys? My name is Roscoe. Thank you again for tuning into my channel. So I thought in today's video we'll have some fun, mix it up, do something different, and kind of give you my five best dress as far as streetwear and you know casual wear NBA players that are currently in the league now. So without further, let's just have fun with it. Hey, in the comments below, let me know what I got wrong, if one of these players shouldn't be on this list, or if there's a player that's not on this list that you should be, let me know, all right? Give me some feedback. I figured I'll do a drop a list like this, kind of give you some, you know, basically inspiration of how, like, how to put fits together and how some of these guys style uh, their streetwear and, you know, how they style their clothes too as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And I'm also thinking about doing probably like when we get closer to the NFL season, give you my uh, five best NFL dress, uh, you know, as far as streetwear is concerned. So without further, let's dive into it. All right, again, this is heavy opinionated. So if you disagree with me, let me know. But number five on my list, he's one of the best dressed NBA players, but he's also got the worst NBA contract. You might know who I'm talking about. And that's my man, Chandler. Parsons. So what I'll do is I'll put some pictures up some fits and we'll go over them and I'll tell you why. So right here, first picture, boom. Man's rocking Balenciaga crew neck. I think those are Yeezys or off-white pants. And then he's got the Oxford tan Yeezys, man. Yo, he puts this fit is fire. It's all streetwear too, and he also has for a little accessory too, he's got the gold, probably gold Rolex on the on the wrist. Dude, this fit is fire. I love that that crew neck. The sinners. It's such a dope crew neck. I like how it's faded too as well. I think it's dope. I think it's dope fit. And then he, it works perfectly with those camel pants too. Those camel pants are fire. I've been seeing those a lot lately. Been seeing those a lot on uh, celebrities. Another dope fit that he you know that he put together. And then how he ranges you know from that streetwear to something like this. Yo, that coat. This coat is flames, bro flames it's like this biker leather but with the sherpa inside which is probably not sherpa it's probably like real fur uh but that jacket is fire and i like how he just you know he made that jacket the main piece because he kept everything casual with just a simple white tee distressed jeans and some white sneakers super clean and also i like how he kept it he has got the scruffy look going too as well so that scruffy look you know works very well with the with that jacket it's super dope fit and I also like to, I'll put another fit up that I thought that was pretty fire. Is this one right here. Boom. You know, camel coats were in last season. Those trench coats, uh, they're fire. They're absolutely fire. With a black hoodie, kept it very minimalistic. With a black hoodie, looks like some black joggers and some black low top sneakers. I like how he also has the no show socks too as well. It's clean. It keeps it very clean look. Um, but what I like about this look too as well um, is that this is a look that you can, you know, you can copy at home easily. Easily you can copy this look. I mean, granted, I mean, this fit right here, the jacket's probably worth like 10 grand, the hoodie's probably a thousand, you know, and, and so forth. But, dude, you can get that jacket, a black hoodie, at like Express, Forever 21, Paxon, or something like that along the lines. And you can get it probably for like 100 bucks, 200 bucks. So you can definitely copy some of these looks too as well, you know, without like the crazy brands, you know what I mean? So I like how we went super casual, but look at the little business business class casual, super dope fit. And then last one I liked with his, is this fit is fire right here. This Paradise Lost hoodie, this faded gray graphite black hoodie, so sick. I don't know what brand this is. If someone knows, let me know down in the comments. But I love how it has that gold drip. Super clean, it's dude. Just got that streetwear vibe, with especially with the biker jeans that's distressed. I think those are Givenchy's, but I'm not 100% sure because they have the stars on it. I know that's kind of like Givenchy's style is with the stars. And then he's got the you know, look at the shoes, the 750s, man. Those are clean. It's such a dope look. Easily, easily one of his better looks. I like how his style. I like his style a lot. I think he's one of the best dressed dudes in the in the NBA. Granted. We don't know how long he'll be in the NBA for, but you know he definitely, he's definitely someone to look out for, and you should probably give him a follow on IG. So number five, my man Chandler Parsons. <clears throat> All right, so number four on the list is my man CP3. 
Now CP3, I like his style because it can range from, you know, super casual to, he, you know, he dresses up really nice too as well. So first fit right here was probably one of the most popular ones of the season. Put it up right here. Boom. Dude, that, this, I don't know if it's corduroy or jean, but that jacket is flames, man. I love the paint splatter. The paint splatter was kind of like a trend that went on. Um, I think it's still going on too as well. I don't see it as much though. I know it was very popular on pants, but now the, the, the whole jean jacket is fire. But it, it might, be, might be corduroy. I'm not 100% sure. But I love that splatter pattern. I love the colors that they use, especially that tan. That tan you know, pops with the yellow paint splatter and the white too and the red. Super dope. I love that jacket. And then he kind of kept it. Dude, he's a Jordan brand athlete, so you know he's always got the freshest J's. He's got the off-white UNC ones, man. So, so clean. And then if you tell it too on the side of the jacket, it's got the UNC blue splatter on the jacket too as well. So kind of has that accent. So it hits off the, the J's, which is fire. And then he kept it very like low tonal on the jeans. Looks like just plain white. A uh, little paint splatter too on those two as well. And then just a white tee, man. This fit is fire. It's super dope. I think that jacket's probably like like a few grand easily. But I love, I, I, I think it's a clean fit, man. He pulls it off. Definitely dope. And then the next fit right here, boom. Dude, this fit is fire. Like I said, he ranges from, his his, his range is crazy. Because he's got what, the I think this is a Gucci sweater. But I love that, like, I love the pattern on this sweater. It's kind of got that, like, that Aztec vibe, if you know what I mean. And I love how it's, like, very earth tone, but then has, like, that pink and yellow and green, you know, hints that, like, that just make the whole outfit pop. And then you like how he kept the whole, out the rest of the outfit to um, earth tone, too, as well, with some khakis. And then he's got the clay green Jordan 1s. Dude, those work, those, those are fire with this fit. Absolutely fire. And then not a lot of people can pull that hat off. Looks like that, kind of like that Indiana Jones hat vibe, but black. Uh, definitely, you know, classy, man. You gotta love, too, about Jordan 1s, too. It's like, if you saw, like, you, you know, you can wear Jordan 1s, like, with anything. Absolutely anything. You could go super, like, casual to, like, streetwear. You can, they go with everything. They go with everything. It's so, so, so clean. This is a dope fit. Dope, dope fit. So the next one, too, I like, again, this one right here. Kills it. Kills it. Now, this is more, obviously, business, more professional look with the sweater. I like that tan. I like the, the sweater as far as, like, the patterns with just, like, the, you know, the, the brown, the black, the white. Very, you know, not too loud. But then he, that, that coat, man, that coat is fire. That gray trench coat with the gray hat to match it, the dad cap. And then he kind of has the accent, where, how he works it with the, the gold chain. That's kind of like that, you know, the, 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 what pops out of the whole fit is that gold chain. Because then it looks like he's wearing, you know, cargos cuffed up with some just plain white sneakers, you know. So, and obviously the sneakers go off of that white sweater, uh, the white little part of the sweater. But again, super dope fit. And you can already see from his range, you know what I mean? From like, he's very dressy up, he dresses really nice, and then boom, here's this fit. Right here, super, like streetwear, right here. So you have the Gucci shirt, the paint splattered dad cap, and then distressed jeans, and then the Gatorade Sixes, which is obviously the Gatorade Sixes go off of the Gucci logo on the uh, on the shirt, which is fire. Uh, and then you know he's always blinged out, man. He's got the two chains on, and dude, this fit is fire. It's, again, you could obviously see his range from business cat business professional to like just probably hanging around the house rocking a Gucci shirt and some J's, man. So. CP3, this is why you made my list at number four. So number three on my list is the man himself, the King LeBron James. So let me put some fits up that were probably the most popular ones of the year for him, uh, which is, I like this one right here, boom. So this one, he's walking, rocking the ACG uh, windbreaker. He's got a, a tan coat to go over it for layering. Dude, these jeans are fire. I don't know what jeans these are, but they're sick. I've never seen bleached out jeans like this because it's like a tan bleach, it looks like. With the, you know, black jeans with some tan bleach and then the purple PEs, the purple LeBrons, so sick. I don't think they've come out with those yet. I've seen them rock it a couple times, those those shoes, but there's no release date on those, I don't believe. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this fit is that hat. I think the hat's kind of goofy, but I believe that was part of the ACG collection, so it kind of works well. And I like how the socks, too. He's rocking the socks. He's got the jeans uh, 
rolled up a little bit so you can see the, the highlight on the socks to match that windbreaker. Really dope fit. I like it a lot. And then, of course, he's got the nice, probably nice-ass watch in the, the Goyard uh, toiletry bag. So, dope, dope fit. Another one that I liked of his was this one right here. Boom. This is a shoe that just came out recently. And I'm probably, you know, probably a lot of the viewers here have this shoe. So this is kind of how he styles it. So he's got the Element 87s uh, on. And he's rocking them with joggers. Black joggers. And he's rocking them with like wool tan socks. I definitely like this look. I think he kills it with these. So the wool socks obviously match the hoodie. The wool hoodie. Which is so clean. And then... I'm a big fan of when you wear like black pants or any type of jogger and then you throw on denim. You throw on denim on top of it and he's layering it with the denim uh, jacket. So, so clean. I like this look too. And then if you look on the arms, he's got that accent of that Cleveland Cavaliers color. So this is probably obviously a custom jacket, I'm thinking. But again, he kills it. He kills it. He rocks it with the 87s and this is how you should rock the 87s, man. Very clean. Super dope. He's not rocking them barefoot, I'll tell you that. So, this fit is fire. This fit is one of his best. Alright, then the last one I'll put for him is probably the most, you know, polarizing fit that I've seen in a long time. But he pulls it off. It's this one right here. The famous suit and suit shorts, man. Kills it. Absolutely kills it. There's only two people in the world that can pull this off. So let's not get this right. Let's get this right right now. Two people that can pull this off. One's LeBron James and the other one is Jack Black. So... Let me just advise you right now, do not go into your dad's closet or don't go in your own closet and start cutting your trousers or your, you know, your slacks to make them into shorts. Do not do this. You will be clowned and people will make fun of you. You will not be able to pull this look off. Just saying. But then, <laughs> so back at it. So this, this fit is fire, man. He's, you know, I think it had everyone kind of shook because who the hell wears slacks shorts like that? I mean, nobody does. But I like how he, you know, he pulls it all together because he's rocking a hoodie as an undershirt. And then he's got the high ankle socks that are bright red, but it hits off of his bag, which is nice touch. And then he looks like he's got the uh, Air Force One high tops, which I love it. The high tops easily goes well with this. But it's like that, I think, I forget what brand that is. Um, it's like that deconstructive. It's not off-white. It's another uh, popular uh, designer that's been doing this a lot. I can't remember. It's like AW something. Ah, someone let me know down in the comments. I'm having a, I'm drawing a blank. But it's that. I love those Air Forces with these, with this fit, man. Definitely kills it. And if you notice too, a little, if you notice too, a little bit is like there's patterns like on the inside and in the inseam of the jacket that he has rolled up is obviously matches the, uh, the inseam too of his pants too. So if you can see, it kind of has that hint. Whoever designed this suit for him, killed it. Absolutely killed it. Super clean fit, man. Like I said, do not wear this fit. Do not wear this at home. Do not try this at home, kids. Only LeBron James and Jack Black can pull this off. So, this is why the king made the list at three. All right, so the last two people on my list can go either way. But this dude is the, probably the king of vintage wear. And that's my man, Swaggy P. So Swaggy P, man, he plays for Golden State Warriors. He's got that L.A. vibe. But I love how he just, he's been killing it with vintage clothing. But here, I'll post this one up right now. Boom. He's got the Balenciaga crew neck, long sleeve. And that just, just screams, looks too, it looks so vintage. It looks like an old school vibe. It's kind of copying that Guess, I think, that Guess t-shirt vibe. Uh, but then yeah, he's always iced out too, if you can tell around his neck. He's got two chains around. And he's got the corduroy pants. Corduroy's a super old school. And then he's got just some plain, looks like plain uh, Ultra Bruce. The Climb Cool Solars, I believe. Those are, uh, those are pretty cool. So that obviously that, that solar yellow hits off of the, uh, the, the crew neck. Or long sleeve, whatever you want to call it. With that yellow stripe, as you can see. So I like this fit. So Super dope. It's probably like a $1,000 uh, hoodie. $1,000 crew neck. But uh, something you can replicate too. Corduroy pants, I bet you can find those too at your uh, local vintage shop. But I like, uh, it's very clean. It's a very clean look. I like it. Another one of his looks that I, I think is probably, you know, it's absolute flames is this one right here. Boom. As you know too, that Swaggy P is an Adidas athlete. So here he's got this, the Yeezy 700s. He's got the tube socks rolled up all the way high. He's got the vintage 
Golden State Warriors cap with the vintage Golden State jacket. Uh, I don't know if that's a starter jacket. If that's a starter jacket, that's flames. You got obviously rocking a vintage t-shirt too as well. And he's got the Supreme shorts on. I want those Supreme shorts. I, those Supreme shorts sold out so fast. And I've been waiting them for someone to list them on StockX. And no one's listed them for st on StockX. I don't know what's going on. If anybody knows who has these, please let me know. These things are fire. It's like that graffiti shorts. They're so clean. I like how them. I like, dude, they just pop. They're super loud. They're definitely a statement piece. And I, dude, it kills this with this fit. It screams West Coast, right? So definitely a West Coast vibe. But I love those shorts. And then this one right here, boom. This fit is crazy too as well. As you can see, <laughs> not a lot of people can pull this one off either. So we'll start off from head to toe, man. He's got the old school 49ers vintage cap. He's got the shades on, the black shades. Those uh, the circle shades. Those are in. Those have been in style for a while now. He's got the the choker chain, the gold out, man. Super clean. I like how he too. He's got the cross tatted on his neck too. That's pretty sick. And then that shirt, that sweater is the Gucci, I believe. So he's got the Gucci chain. Uh, that's a long, long V neck though. That's super long V-neck, but he, you know, the way the way that the wear that sweater is definitely don't wear an undershirt, and you know, definitely showing off the tats there. So that's a makes it very clean. And then he's got distressed jean shorts with some Alexander Wang uh, Adidas sneakers with the, you know, he looks like he's a big fan of the rolling up the tube socks too as well. So this fit is fire. I don't think only him could pull it off. I like how the sweater matches the kind of like the 49ers vibe. But this is definitely like, you know, cruising down the street in my 6'4 type vibe. And he definitely kills it. Definitely kills it. So that's why he is number number two on my list. But you can definitely argue too with him that he either knocks it out of the park with his fits or it's, his fits are completely trash. So he's a hit or miss type person. But I think lately he's been more hit than miss. So number two, Swaggy P. Now again, this could be controversial. So let me know if I got this wrong in the comments. But number one on my list, he's only been in the year for one year. He's only been in the league, excuse me, for one year. Been in the league for one year. So think about this. Who? Who am I? That's my man, Kyle Guzma. He's been absolutely killing it, and I'll tell you why. And he's definitely a person that you want to follow on IG so you guys can keep up because his fits, his, he, he, he can dress. He can dress. So we'll start off with number one right here. Boom. Yo, he's got the Fendi jacket, man. Dude, this Fendi jacket is flames. It's super loud. It's got so much going on. So he kept everything very minimalistic and made the jacket the statement piece, which is exactly what you want to do because he rocked it with a white tee, some you know black chinos, and it looks like Alexander McQueen uh, sneakers. So I do. He definitely kills it. That jacket is fire. And then if you look too on that wrist, that's a nice ass watch too as well. That's the gotta be like I think that's six, that's a six figure watch. But I like like I said I like how he knows how like he made the jacket, you know the main piece and he kept everything very, very subtle. Two two and then if you look on this in the chinos, it's kind of got that gold uh, highlights on w one of the legs, which kind of hits off the jacket too. Because if you could just stare at that jacket, it's just got so much going on. I don't even know what that jacket what even what's even on it. It's just absolute madness. But it's definitely an eye grabber. It's, it's jacket you walk in, like say, like at an event like this, and people are automatically going to just zoom in on to, on you. So kills it, absolutely kills it with this fit. And then boom, he's out in LA now. He's got those LA vibes. And what I like about this fit right here too is that this is a fit that you can copy at home very easily, man. So if you look, we'll go from head to toe. He's got a dad cap. He's got some black shades. He's got the flannel, and then he's got a white tee. That white tee says Country of Milan. That's a Marcelo Berlon uh, t-shirt. Those are like a few hundred dollars, but you don't need to spend a few hundred dollars on a white tee. So, but then he, I like how he, I like the whole like long sleeve flannel vibe with some shorts. I don't know why. I've been I've been kind of digging that look lately. And then that those these got the short short looks, uh, short short looks, the short short uh, short shorts, which is always a good look when you're a tall person. I think if you're super tall. Uh, shorts, uh, shorts are the way to go, uh, and then the Vans, man. The low, low top Vans kills it, absolutely kills it. Like I said, this is a fit that you can definitely buy, you know, cheap at your local, at your local mall or whatever store you want to go into. You could definitely pull this fit off. So I, that's why I like it too. And then he goes streetwear too as well. Radio, boom, very casual, 
you know, <laughs> that super casual laid back, uh, you know, that laid back flow, I want to say. But he's got the Heron Preston hoodie. I love Heron Preston clothing. It's kind of like off-white, but not as popular. If you go check out their website, their, their, their clothing is insane. Their clothing is insane, and I love this hoodie. This hoodie is sick because it's got that orange to that that bright orange to that more neutral orange to that navy purplish. It's just got that. Oh, I love that look of that hoodie. And then those jeans, distressed jeans with the stripes on the side, and then he's rocking the off-white Jordan ones in that white colorway. Definitely kills it. Very more laid back, super streetwear vibe. Kills it. Absolutely kills that fit. And then the next one here as well that I'm a fan of is, you know, this one right here too. Again, a fit that you can basically buy at the mall. Super, keep it, you can keep it super clean. He's got a flannel short sleeve shirt, kind of like that, that patchwork vibe. He's wearing it with a gray undershirt. Ripped distressed jeans and then he pulls it together with the top uh, three Jordan 1s, man. Those top three Jordan 1s are sick. I'm surprised they went up that crazy in value, but supposedly they're doing like a reverse, uh, reverse colorway on those, I guess, eventually. Uh, that's rumor has it so guys want to keep out for those because those shoes are sick those shoes are sick and again this is a fit you could pull off very easily at home um, I, I think he's wearing the jeans actually in the, the same jeans in this photo than he was in the last one because uh, it's got that white stripe on the side those are probably like a thousand dollar jeans so if I buy a jeans for a thousand dollars you damn well I'm going to wear those more than once so absolutely more laid back vibe kills it another one here boom I'll put this one up Jordan 1's, distressed jeans, here he's got the, the flannel wrapped uh, around his waist, definitely adds to basically split up the fit, old school vintage t-shirt, he's got like the, looks like a faded uh, jean hat, dad cap type, I believe, and then he pulls it together with the messenger bag, super clean fit, dope, dope fit, and that vintage t-shirt sick as well too. That, that, dude, the whole fit is fire. Those Jordan 1s, too, are not that popular. I don't think, I don't know what those are. Those might be mids. Those Jordan 1s might be mids, too. So, not a lot of people wear mids, so I give props for him for that one. And then the last one, too, again, I'm going to show you the whole range of what he does. He's been doing very casual streetwear, and then, dude, this dude kills it with this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this coat is fire, man. I, I, this is that New York City, Chicago, you know, that cold weather vibe, man. Dude, the fur coat, don't alarm PETA, but this thing is in insane. This thing is insane. This jacket's probably like 10 grand. But, I again, I like how we went with a turtleneck, you know, slim jeans and some nice... Uh, those boots are clean, too. I like those boots. It's probably, I don't know what they are as far as brand is concerned, but those boots are really nice. Uh, again, very classy fit, very classy, you know, vibe. But, like, you know, I like, too, how he's got the ice. He takes the chain out, puts the chain around the neck, and has, you know, the cross. Uh, so, keep a little icy, you know, and that's more of a... Granted, you're not going to see it as much because that jacket is that statement piece. Uh, but, I love, dude, it kills it. He absolutely kills his fit. Not a lot of people can pull it off. This is, like, you know, I got money type vibe. This is, you know, I play, I'm an NBA player. I'm a celebrity vibe, you know. This isn't something that, you know, I would probably wear at all. Because I couldn't pull this off, but dude, it's sick. It's sick. And that's why, you know, and he's only been in the league for one year. So this is a man that you got to watch out as far as, you know, just keep, keep an eye on his fits because you can definitely get inspiration from him as well. So, guys, that's my list today. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Like I said, I enjoy doing some stuff like this to kind of mix it up. If you want to see my five worst dress, let me know too as well. Give you a little boom hint, five worst. They might make the list. <laughs> so, guys, that's my video for today. Uh, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.